Yo. Good morning. It really is morning, man. My coffee's only like half done. Hold on. I'm about to steal a bunch of these. It's like a very light texture on them. I'm trying to get it in the light. Man, oh man. I'm doing mediums right now. Mm. Um, trust me, I'm not getting coffee on the shirt. I'm being responsible as hell. Um, thing is, I shouldn't be this tired. This is to, oh wait, I gotta get back in the swing of this. First is to, oh, okay, I was like, why? I was like reading the sheet of like, the info of the shirt and everything, and I was like, there's not a name on this. First up is Diamond. That's a great name, that's a fucking diva name. Okay, Diamond, you're up first. Um, technically, in my head, it's like, I'm still on like a, th it's not a bad jet lag or anything, but it's definitely still like a three hour difference. Like last night, I was in bed by like 10.50. But I'm feeling it, man, I'm exhausted. That's why today is gonna be a soft day. I'm not throwing anything. I'm gonna caress each one. Dude, I love these. And we leave in like a week, I think, for the Black Bear Tour. That's true, Harry Styles' funeral, Gray. I agree. Um, there we go. Diamond. Who's next? Um, we're on. Whoa. I don't know how to say this name. Definitely not the last name. It starts with Z N I, wait, Z N I D. That's crazy. I don't know how to say that at all. Like I've never seen that name before. It's crazy unique. <sighs> um, oh yeah. a good package though it's a light one it's a light one go. I think the first name is Juliana but it's just spelled different mm -mm -mm. Oh, uh, forum's gonna go hard. There you go. Three stickered up. Just found out I'm pregnant. Can you do a gender reveal? Oh my god. That I would be so fucking afraid right now. If I were you, I think. That's one of the things I'm most afraid of. I'm gonna put a sticker on. Buddy, I didn't even know they were clear. That's sick. I thought it was gonna be white. We're not showing an address. Next, um, Lily, let's go. 
cute, beautiful, stunning, meta. Some people don't get it, that's okay. A lot of people don't get a lot of things. I'm working on bags. I don't know if it's a tote bag or not, but I'm working on bags. Different kinds too. Sunglasses indoors, that is who we are right now because it is, it's the, it's the kind of day where I'm not ready to be out of bed. So here's the compromise. I'm here, but it's not as bright as it has to be. Mm. Stickers. Almost forgot, but why would I do that to you? <clears throat> to caress your package. Next is Nicole. Nicole or Nicole? Nicole? I don't know, there's no E at the end. Um, okay. Sweater, cute, great, different, forward thinking, an homage to the past. Um, let me get you, where do you live? Show me your address. Ah, hang on. Sometimes things are just like the perfect size to be a little bit awkward when you're back at home. Mm. I plan on coming back to Toronto. Dude, I want to, those shows were really good. The first one, I was a little freaked because my, uh, my voice wasn't doing everything I needed it to. And I was just like, oh my God. The second one was really fun though. I mean, they were both fun, but the first one I was kind of stressed, honestly. Um, all right, stickers packed. Sticky oh. off. Today is Wednesday. This is a good way to find out. Even if you never know what day of the week it is, if you see me doing this, you just be like, it's Wednesday. Or if you saw me do it yesterday, you'd be like, ah, wait, today's Thursday, huh? Josh, Josh, you are up. Oh, man. If I could nap, I would. My body won't let me. I know what day of the, or the way I would know what day of the week it is, is there's this Vietnamese place that I really like, and they're closed on Mondays. There was one in Houston that was closed on Tuesdays. The one here that I really like is closed on Mondays. Um, so before high def, occasionally, they just wouldn't be on Postmates, and I'd be like, what the fuck? Um, Josh, one sticker for Josh. We're gonna feel the sticker, and it's gonna feel pretty good. You know what I mean? We're gonna get the second one, it's also gonna feel pretty good. We're gonna get the third one, it's also gonna feel pretty good. But we're gonna take these stickers, and we're gonna put them in the bag. Great. If you're just now joining us, welcome. Take a deep fucking breath. Um, Josh. Boom. Now, we're gonna slowly... Oh. We're gonna give us a soft close. We're gonna, we're gonna push down here, so that way, that way, that way, that way, it can close all the way and feel really good. That's how we're gonna do that. That's how we're gonna do that, okay. Okay. 
I'm excited to actually be having strong coffee again. Because when I'm home, I'm having two strong coffees a day. And normally when I'm out, I have none. But the last two runs, I was just like, I can't punish myself. I'm so exhausted that I would have one weak ass coffee in the morning. Mm. All right, Josh. <gasps> um. Great, beautiful, soft, cozy. I wear it in my apartment. How fun. It's real super dark hat girl. Nice. Yo, that's that's uh I've I've had an idea for a minute with some of the text things I've been posting to do like with clothes. Probably when the album comes out so I can do all of them. But uh I really like seeing that version of it because it's not exactly how I plan to do it, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, and Mikey liked it too. This one is for Yasmin. Yeah. Right now, Yasmin, you know what we're gonna get, right? We're gonna get a sticker. We're gonna get a sticker. And we're gonna get a sticker. Yeah, Blackbeard Tour should be good. Um, we, uh, I know we're supposed to have finished the set already. I keep going back and forth, because there's certain songs where I'm like, oh, I feel like this fits really well. Because the thing is, for water parks like we've done so much like so many different styles for so long that we can kind of make like different versions of, of our like of what we do depending on who it's around you know what I mean like we didn't play um, like Dream Boy and Mike Kim for example because I feel like it probably wouldn't go as well so we're like you know what maybe magnetic so we can kind of tailor the sets to what's going on around us a little bit. And it's still obviously authentic because it's still our fucking songs. So, um, Yasmin? I am not all right 2023 on Twitter. No, that is not me. Um, also, thanks that we just got three more orders in the last like minute. Whoever did that, thanks. Um, yeah. Cute, beautiful, fantastic, elegant, clean, soft. Hi, Duff. I probably wouldn't do fuzzy if, okay, we could do fuzzy or we could do something a little bit harder. I realized that back-to-back -back shows where I was doing like, for example, like real super dark, it made my falsetto like harder to reach like real high parts of it. So, cause I feel like the human voice can only do so much for so long that doing like really, really high stuff and then being like, ah, just isn't very, isn't very practical. Sticker one, love to see that. Sticker two, love to see that. Sticker three, oh cool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying though? Like back in the day, it was so fucking hard. Yeah, you're saying tantrum. Like back in the day, it was so hard doing tantrum and then like stupid for you. Like the human voice, especially mine, especially back then, had limits, has limits, had limits. Nikea? I've never heard of that city, but I don't want to dox you. Whoever just ordered, thanks so much. I should have like a laptop next to me so I can I can shout out whoever it is 
Because every time, every time I do the lives I like, I want to go off and like see who did it so I can shout them out. But that would make Instagram be done. Um, I should probably go live on the uh, on the other account too. Should I? Or should I just stay here? I was saying affirmations, but I think prayer and affirmations are probably probably pretty uh, synonymous. It's so hard to save certain things because I try and like hold back at least a little bit of certain items. I try and hold back at least a little bit of certain items just for like, I don't know, special occasions or, you know, when we eventually get to do like a pop-up thing. This is for Rowan. Here we go. Shout out Rowan. Folded your paper real nice. You know what? I remember you from meet and greets and stuff. I'm throwing a couple extras. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's like hard to like hold some back, but I really am trying, like, we've got, uh, I think like 15 or 20 of these held back from when we eventually get to do a pop-up. Because, I don't know, I just, I I don't want there to be like two things at it, you know what I mean? Because if we do a, if we, you know, get to have a store, I want, I want there to be like, Maybe a couple store exclusive things, but um, I also want there to be like a few random things where it's like, you know, people missed out on it the first time. Yeah. Uh, got that. We got that. Now it's a sticker. And uh, some people will be able to walk in and be like, "Holy shit! Like it's this thing from like eight months ago." Yeah, how many are how many y'all are gonna come to the uh, the pop up? I'm working on it. I want to do it. I think at the end of the season, or like, hopefully before season three. It's just a lot to figure out. <clears throat> Cute, show stopping, fantastic. Look at that. New new tag for the first time. I love to see that. Everything from season one all the way through season two has had the old one until this piece. Shout out whoever just got one. Appreciate you. But yeah, um, I like the idea of trying to hold back a little bit of everything. Just so when people come to the store, it can be like a really dope exclusive thing. Or, you know, it can be something special. Shit, I really botched this one. Hang on. Tori, my bad, you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. That's how we do it now. Okay. That's way better, I should have done that the first time. Okay. Um, yeah, like if, if there was like one, at least one of every, I mean there's not, but if there could at least be, like ideally I'd like to have one of everything at a pop-up at least, but some stuff just went too quick, where it was like, I didn't want to hold anything back. Because if people were already like, fuck! You know, like, there's certain release days where, um, there are certain release days where, um, things are sold out, like, mo like, where most of it's sold out before I can even post and be like, it's live! And usually Twitter's gotten on it pretty quick, but, um, all right, this is for Tori. Alright, Tori. Um, yeah, like, for example, like, the Jet shirts, where, like, they immediately were just like, and then everyone was like, whoa, whatever, and I was like, I don't know, we have a second, like, like, version, 
here. And they just like go immediately. It's like, if it's, if it's like that, we probably don't hold them back. But, um, you know, if it's like a m semi more normal drop where, you know, maybe it's sold out in like 15 minutes or something, there might be like, I don't know, two of each size held back. So someday to mark a dope occasion like a store, there can be like some extra exclusives. Yeah, the jet shirts are good. Um, I wear the pink one still, but I'm nervous to wear the white one while this is going on. So the white one's gonna be out of commission for me for, I don't even know how long. There's not many left for season two. I think there's like, hmm, I don't wanna be wrong. Maybe like, Six or seven, and then it's done. I'm trying to pick what's going on next week. Um, maybe we could do. I really want to put out that color changing. Like the, the. So. I think I teased it on. Or no, I, 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 I teased it on here too a little bit. Um, there's that color changing blue and green. Like you know, there was the gray to white with the button neck and the sleeve print and it's like heat sensitive and all that so there's one that's like a light blue to light green um i would have done a little bit darker but the technology does not exist yet working on it but um yeah like a light blue to light green uh button neck is what kind of what i'm thinking for next week yeah No, I'm okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I need to post some pictures of it. Actually, you know who modeled that one a lot during the shoots? It was me. That was one of the main ones. Um, so, you know, cause like I brought out friends that flew out some, asked some to come through, like when we were shooting some of the like higher concept pieces that we had earlier um like the uh the uh green and blue and the orange and red shout out whoever just got one um but uh yeah that was one of the earlier ones that we had and i made it a point i was like i want to model that one it looks so fucking sick yeah so um anyway three um Shit, I gotta be on a Zoom in 20 minutes. That's not good. Nah, I can come back after. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I modeled that one a lot. So I need to get those picks up. I need to hit John about that. But John is working on something else right now. All right. Yeah, I'm working on jewelry too. It's just, again, like everything that high def does takes a lot of time because it's not just, you know, it's not like a made to order, whatever, whatever. Like it's all, it has to be planned out like five, six months in advance to happen correctly. So especially for a new thing, whether it's like, I don't, I don't want to give too much away yet, but um, these really are good. I like that they're clear. Like, I almost took apart your sticker. Um, I'll do this one. For things to be done right, especially new kinds of things, um, it, it just, it takes a lot of, like, pre-work before it can come out. I've, dude, I've been trying to get sunglasses in season one. Honestly, I've got really cool ideas, but a lot of places are a lot of places are nervous to to execute very custom ideas. You know what I mean? Like, because I could easily go to 
whoever and be like, hi, I want to get some blanks and just put our name on it or whatever. But that's kind of not the point with this. High def is so I can make shit that I couldn't do as like merch. You know what I mean? Because I've designed our merch for so long that, not all of it, but a lot of it. Designed our merch for so long that, soft put down. Um, that I've, and I've been told no so many times with like design or just things that like could be cool custom ideas and or like if things are too expensive like honestly these blanks here like these pieces before we did any of this it was already like more expensive than just about anything we've done like like I don't even want to get into all that but just like wildly expensive to where if I wanted to make merch on a blank as nice as what came out today, like a merch company would say no. They'd be like, that doesn't make sense, blah, 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 blah. And plus merch companies take like the craziest, like, I mean, this is just some inside shit, but um, merch companies, like, I mean, I'm lucky I got us out of our deal, but uh, you know, everybody signs one early. Um, but they take such a crazy percent that if I tried to make something on material like this, it, it just wouldn't work. Like we'd most likely lose money from all the random fees and like stocking fees and then like holding fees, design fees, like da, 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 all this shit. And then, you know, handling and all that, like by the time it was done, it would probably cost us money. That's just how shitty those companies are. Um, this is for Yolanda. Here we go. So anyway, I don't remember how I got there, but no, we never had a 360 deal for merch, but we did have, we, when, when bands are getting started, usually they're approached by like one of like three or four companies and they offer you like in advance and luckily, was smart enough to not give like everything they wanted. Like they wanted, uh, they wanted a lot more, but I was like, why don't we just do merch for like online and shit and allow them to be our providers and all this stuff. And Yolanda, soft letdown. But anyway, um, yeah, merch, like if, if you're an artist, don't, don't take a merch deal. It's just, it's a bad thing. Dude, yeah, funding with all of this, it's not easy because again, there's no, there's not like a merch company or someone handling it because one, they wouldn't want to do such high end stuff like this, but that presents challenges as well like yeah warehouse it's not cheap hand like getting having people like you know handle everything or run the site or do all this stuff like everything everything takes extra so when things are more independent yeah it's a lot more work but you can make way 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 better shit and luckily that's what we're doing here just make dope high quality shit. Sticker one, sticker two, sticker three. So if any of y'all come on here on Twitter in two days and say, I didn't get a sticker. This is photographic evidence that you did get a sticker. All right, this is for Kaylin Callen? I, I never, I feel like a substitute teacher mispronouncing people's names. All right. I know, I warned y'all about the paper thing. It literally showed up. So I don't even think I was in town during that one, but um, 
Actually, yeah, that's right. I was at rehearsals, I think. And, um, and I was like, oh, no, no, no. I was on a shoot for something else. And um, uh, there was, like, no paper that week. And I was like, oh, bummer. Okay, okay, okay. And then when, like, like half or more of the orders were already done, it came through. And it was like, fuck. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. All orders should have paper. It's just that order got delayed for delivery. Um, all right, Nick from Pearl River. Oh no, I don't mind. Every time, every time there's bootleg merch outside of a show, we try and get it. I have at least four or five bootleg water park shirts. Usually it's in like Ireland and we're not supposed to stop them because apparently they're like some kind of gang or like, <clears throat> I don't know if it's a gang or like a, like a mob thing or something, but, <clears throat> but they always have bootleg shit outside of everybody's shows and no one can stop them. Otherwise you're going to get like fucked up. I don't want to say who, but someone tried and their bus got like shot up. So we're like, you know what? Sell a shirt, buddy. I don't give a shit. Um, Nick. Soft to put down. Oh yeah, someone in Europe made me this HEB. Um, they made me one back in like 2018, but I wore it so much I got worn down. <clears throat> oh buddy, if you're just now joining us, look at this shit. Cute, fantastic, amazing. There's no H-E-B orange juice in LA, only Texas. Oh yeah, there was a bunch outside of Brixton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always the bigger ones. Like they're never outside of like the small like Paris shows or whatever, for example, like. But anytime it's a bigger show, yeah. All right, Sophia. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Sticker one. Focus, focus. Oh, you won't focus? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, one, two, three. The bootleg, oh dude, the bootleg stuff, no, 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 it's not ugly. You just have to appreciate it. Appreciate what they decided to create. What I liked about it was, ooh, Miles is sending me a reminder that I need to get off and get on a meeting. Um, what you need to remember is, they don't give a shit about us, but in, the, in a funny way, in my opinion, because they printed tour merch and all of the dates on the wrong were Wow. All of the dates on the back were wrong. It was very funny. I liked it. And that's one of the ones I made sure to keep. Sophia from Gainesville. Man, I'm going to move to Florida someday. Shout out whoever just bought one. in Sweden before. Actually, that was the last show we did before COVID like really fucking like shit the world. Like that was our last show was in Stockholm. Yeah, yeah, all the dates are wrong. It was very funny. Um, I was just like, wait, what? Like we're going to be on sad summer for these and it says we're going to be in Germany. Um, anyway, it's the last one I'm going to pack for now. I might come back later. I got a couple calls, but if you haven't, consider. Cute, great, fantastic. Don't move to Florida, it's the closest to hell. That's not true, that's Arizona. Arizona's the only place that's ever actually cooked our laptop during a show where we actually had to stop at Warp 2018. And I wound up just talking for like 
15 minutes. And then I was like, fuck it, give me an acoustic. So, no. Arizona is hell, not Florida. Florida's great. Florida's where old people go to perish. And I want to go with them. Um, this last one before I dip off here for a second. Also, I like how clunky it is in the beginning. And by the end, I'm like... <laughs> um, the last one before I dip off here is David. Here we go. And the one I'm going to do when I get back is Ethan. Here we go. David. Dope. I will see y'all in a bit. Gotta go plan some things that you will see in like however many months. Cause that's how it goes. San Antonio sucks too. I only say that because they, they're the only people who have robbed us successfully. All right. It's been real. I'll see you guys in a bit.